For anyone that's ever been in my stream before knows that I love reserve stonks. And besides the price of all the crazy Miltech items, we also have intelligence folders skyrocketing. So today we're going to be showing you all the spots that I check on my runs on reserve that allow me to make so much damn money off Intel. Before we get into the video here today, if you have any questions about today's video or any others you've seen in the past, feel free to swing by the Twitch chat. I'm live every single day, and if you ever want to ask any questions, that's the place to do it. We're going to be starting off here with RBKPRL. In my opinion, one of the best keys on reserve. Not just for the fact that it has two to three Intel spawns here, which is usually on the desk or on top of the safe. It can also be in a slightly different position on the desk. But it also has two safes, and nearby is another guard shack that not only has an RBAK spawn, but it also has another two additional Intel spawns and another safe. One spawns on top of the safe, and the other one near the water jug on the bedside table. All right, so let's head away from here towards the dome building. And I just wanted to point out that there are a few spawns along the first floor that are some of the most overlooked in the game. The main one being these tables near the chair here, both tables and also on the chair. The thing is with Intel is a lot of the time they will be laying slightly hovering just on top of these desks. The problem with Intel is the fact that it's brown and usually so are the desks. And I usually try to skim along the top of the table and see if I see a white dot. But I just thought I'd let you know that they are quite hard to see. So a lot of the time when you check these, make sure you use your eyes, okay? <laughs> Heading up towards the second floor, we are going to be going to a key called RBKORL or call. Another little insider tip and trick with RBKORL or call. This room, I mean, it's been kind of rough to me. I've been checking it a lot. And although it does have three different Intel spawns on the desk, on the chair, and also on the filing cabinets. And out of all the runs that I do on reserve, I always check this on my way out at Cliff Descent, but it rarely gives up an Intel. So I don't know whether I'm just damn unlucky or if I, you know, the room sucks. Next to it is a room that I really do love, and this is RBRLSSA. There are two Intel spawns on both of these desks, but to make matters even better, behind you are these metal shells which spawn awesome Miltech loot. Heading up towards the third floor, you do need to be careful obviously running around in dome like an idiot. However, when you're heading up towards the main dome area, there's going to be a little inconspicuous couch on the way out. On top of this couch is a chance on top of all these binders, for a chance at an intel. So we'll be heading underground and I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really go down here that much because obviously exit campers and all the dark corners where the sneaky little rats like to wait. I will be working on an updated loot guide for reserve. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to subscribe and I will be producing that soon TM. Right, heading past all the Acer spawns along these server racks where everyone likes to check for those amazing Acer phase arrays. Heading into the back safe office here, chucking a hard left. There's actually a spawn directly on your left and also on this back table just above the computer. All right, so we're going to be heading out of this area and we're going to be heading back towards the main D2 extract. Now, what I usually do is I just shimmy down this railing onto this collapsed server and head towards a table at the back. Now, this table actually has two individual spawns for Intel, which is pretty sweet. One on the left of the lamp and one on the right, as well as a chance for Intel on the spool to the left of that. Not to mention, there's also an RBAM spawn on there, and I have a separate video, which I'll link in the top right corner if you're curious about what keys spawn on reserve. Be careful down this area, though, because it's one of the most exit camped areas in the game, and part of the reason I rarely come down here. But when you do come down here, you can check for two separate Intel spawns on top of these folders and to the table to the left. Not to mention, you get a duffel bag, a couple sweet jackets, and also some Miltech. If you don't know where we are, on my left is King or the tech building with the garage and the park truck. This is the stairs leading into the basement, and I call this filter room. In this little bedside table is actually an Intel spawn, and people rarely check this, and one of the most overlooked Intel spawns in my opinion. Heading towards what I call the D2 offices. Now this area here is incredibly hot, and a lot of people love to hang around in these offices, but for good reason. So we're down in the offices here, and you want to be scanning each individual desk. And that's not because I'm not telling you there's specific spots where the Intel spawn, but more the fact that on the desk, there are multiple different positions for it to be, including a rare chance to be in this binder. So you really need to be watching out for that and looking for that perception dot. The offices next to them as well have more spawns, so you can really see the value of this area. So make sure that you always keep your eyes peeled along all of these desks 
Once again, pointing out the fact that Intel it can blend in with the desk. All right, working our way into flag office, we're going to be checking all the desks once again. And as you can see, I got quite lucky with some Intel here. Another little hidden spot, which I didn't know until recently, is that the filing cabinets in the corner also have a chance to spawn. So make sure to stick your head in every single nook and cranny on these desks, as you'll sometimes be surprised about where the Intel can actually spawn. What's really interesting here, however, is you're going to notice in these two recordings that the Intel is first in front of the phone and also in front of the lamp. They can be in multiple different positions on the same desk. All right, so we're out in the open here. You know where this is. This is the chopper between all the buildings here. And we're going to be heading towards this open crate with a chance of two individual Intel spawns. So we'll be heading the opposite direction from the way the chopper's facing towards a building here called White Pawn. But if we head down towards the basement here, a little cage door and head inside, there's a metal table. Underneath the lamp is a floating Intel, which is honestly a pretty sweet spot. All right, so we're going to be heading up these stairs and we're going to be heading towards the fourth floor. I just wanted to point out that sometimes, you know, like even Vox can't count. So, you know, that's why I sort of walked into the wrong room here for a second. But if you go up to the actual fourth floor, you'll be met with a little table here with a bunch of candles on it. Now, this table with candles can spawn an intel and is often really overlooked. All right, we're here over at Black Pawn and we're going to be heading into the entrance that's not the side of the mark room, but the one closer towards Bishop here. And we're actually going to be heading up towards the third floor. Now, this is towards a room which, honestly, guys, kind of Loki hates me. Now, this is RBOB. And honestly, it should be called RB Disappointment because, honestly, we're out of all the spots where I check for intel, I don't even know why I still have this damn key in my key tool. Because every single time I come in here, I'm just disappointed. Not stonks at all. But honestly, it is a chance. And if you can get it for a good price, it's worth checking. All right, so the building that's directly in front of the helicopter with the drop down room that a lot of yous are probably either died in or killed people in. This is a very hot building. But there's an awesome key here called RBAM, one of my personal favorites on reserve. Not only is there a sweet mill tech and a chance at a fire steal and other sweet goodies, there's also a folder with intelligence spawn on the stool that spawns underneath this green crate. So we're going to be heading into the entrance that says Welcome to Hell, which should actually be called Welcome to Rat Paradise. But be careful when you come in here, guys, because a lot of people like to hang around. That's for the crazy amount of loot that can spawn in these server rooms. But near this office is actually a few things. Not only is there a spawn for RBKORL, but there's also three individual Intel spawns, one on this side of the desk, on top of the folders, and also on top of the filing cabinet. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled if you're ever in this area. All right, so we're gonna be heading up towards the great door here. And this is where a lot of people like to hang out and wait for you. So if you are in here, make sure you're checking it early or just be super careful. Now heading up towards the third floor, we're gonna be heading towards the side of White Bishop or the med building. Heading in towards this back office on the right, we're gonna find it right next to this lamp. We're done here on the third floor, so let's head down towards the basement. Now, there are obviously a lot of other awesome loot spawns in this area. And once again, like I said earlier, I will be working on a rehash guide with all the updated loot spawns for that. Now, this room called RBOP is one of my personal favorites and definitely one of the first keys I buy on reserve. The fact is, this room has multiple different intel spawns on the desk. There's two individual and one on the chair, as well as rare spawns on the bookshelf to the right. So that's pretty sweet. So we're here over at White Bishop, one of the most popular buildings for meds or anything like that in reserve. We're going to be doing some cheeky parkour as we jump through this window and head towards the basement. Now, there is a lot of awesome spawns in this building that I'm not going to be getting into here today. But heading down and towards the right, we'll be heading for a table with a lamp on it. Now, the age-old lamp intel, but honestly, guys, make sure to check just in front of it is a spawn for intelligence. Next up is where dreams go to die. We are here over at Black Knight and heading inside if you're not already dead from Gluhar and the gang or some player scav. Now, I sort of avoid these buildings for reasons just mentioned, but if you head inside to a room here called MP12, a double tank battery spawn as well as a folder with intelligence right next to this green crate. Once you're here, you may as well pop up to the second floor. Now, the best thing about this room is that there are multiple unlocks next to each other like MP11. Now, MP11, I still feel like they are adding more spawns to this room. So I still buy this key in the hope that I'm going to find some better stuff. But I do believe that there's going to be some Acer spawns or something cool added to this room sometime soon. Heading towards MP21, this is one of my personal favorite keys, especially if I happen to be in Black Knight. 
just because the fact that it has an Intel spawn here on top of the filing cabinet, on the table next to the filing cabinet, and also another spawn on the table adjacent to that, making three in total plus tank batteries as well. Heading towards White Knight, now this is obviously another incredibly hot building, but the few different reasons why this building so hot are the fact that there are two individual intelligence spawn, one on the table and one on the stool below it. There's also another really, really good room here called MP13, and I actually really, really like this room, and I would genuinely recommend buying MP13 if you can manage to get it for a good price, because it has a chance at tank batteries if you need them found in raid, but mainly for the fact that it has two separate intel spawns, one on the desk and one on the chair down below. So heading out of the first floor, we're going to be banging up towards the third floor. And that's because White Knight is a little bit different than Black Knight. Now you can't actually access the second floor from the main entrance. So we're going to have to go up to the third floor, which is not a big deal. But opening this room here, I call Weapon Crate Room. There's a lot going on in this room. You've got a chance for aces and other assorted rare goods on these chairs, as well as an intelligence that spawns very inconspicuously in the corner here. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled if you're around this area, as a lot of people will walk past this one, as well as this chair in the corner, which will spawn another intelligence directly on the seat. All right, so let's head down towards the hole in the floor and make sure you jump down the right one, otherwise you're going to end up with broken legs. Now, this next key is a key I don't use too often, but it's still a decent key, MP21. Now, you can obviously find a lot of AKs in here, as you can see in the recording, as well as intelligence on the table and tank batteries. And last but not least, we're here over at B Barracks. You can see RBVO marked room on my right hand side. We're in the opposite B Barracks, which doesn't have anything in it. And we're going to be heading towards the back to an inconspicuous table that spawns Intel and is honestly one of the most overlooked spots for Intel, in my opinion. Hey guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this in any single way or want to see this done for other maps, let me know in the comments down below what map you'd like to see next. I really appreciate you guys watching the videos to the very end. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.